These are seven of the most interesting phenomenons found on Earth. Number seven, volcanic lightning. From the results of ancient volcanic eruptions to the disastrous potential of new eruptions, volcanic lightning, also known as dirty thunderstorm, is one of the most violent and visually stunning phenomenons in the terrestrial world. When a volcano erupts, it emits a vast cloud of superheated ash, which generates a huge plume of smoke that's so popularly depicted in cartoons and popular media. However, occasionally, additional elements can get caught up in the plume and complicate matters. Most commonly, fragments of rocks and wayward ice particles, and when these aspects meet, the sparks really start to fly. These collisions generate a fairly significant static charge, and when this happens on a large scale, that static energy can build and condense into truly devastating outbursts of electricity, resulting in lightning strikes, which, while all being relatively fascinating stuff, doesn't really matter in the short term. The important part is that when the lightning discharges above a still erupting volcano, it tends to look pretty damn awesome. While scientific research is still being conducted into the exact nature of dirty thunderstorms, truly incredible images continue to be captured around the world, clearly demonstrating the sheer ferocity of our planet and her brutal tantrums. Number six, Sword Soul, the Black Sun. Despite the rather ominous title, this doesn't refer to the end times or any anti-sun related shenanigans. Actually, it doesn't refer to our sun at all. Sort Sol, Danish for the Black Sun, is the seasonal gathering of up to a million starlings above the skies of the Jutland marshlands during the spring and autumn. This fascinating display, said by the locals to blot out the sunset, hence the name, is the result of the migratory patterns of these birds. This phenomenon usually occurs during and shortly after the sunset as the vast quantity of migrant birds decide on whether to settle down and roost for the night. Considering how difficult it can be for groups of more than four people to make up their minds on what to do during a night out, you can just sort of imagine how amazing it is for these guys to cooperate with each other. Approaching the flock can be dangerous during these hours. The surly songbirds don't appreciate predator birds interrupting their discussions and will quite literally poop and vomit all over the unfortunate outsider until it goes away. In extreme cases, the sheer weight of defecation and expelled digestive matter can overload the predator, clogging up their feathers in a manner that can best be described as unpleasant and forcing them to descend at a rate that's far from optimal. At least two goshawks have drowned in the marshes below thanks to this fairly unconventional method of collective self-defense. Definitely not a nice way to go. Eventually, the starlings leave, continuing onwards towards or returning from their Scandinavian and Baltic breeding grounds. But while they remain, the wonderfully chaotic dance of a million wings remains a sight to behold. If you do decide to go and take a look, however, just don't stand directly underneath them. Trust me on this one. Number five, fire rainbows. Now bear with me because we're about to talk about fire rainbows. And despite what you feel you might have gleamed from the title, these magnificent displays are not technically a form of fire. And amazingly, they're also not rainbows. I know what you're thinking. Looks like a rainbow to me. And you'd be right, sort of. They certainly look like rainbows, but these beauties are actually the result of ice crystals hovering up in the atmosphere, orienting themselves in an awkward enough position to refract and alter the light of the sun into a vast pair of light circles. This phenomenon is known officially as circumhorizontal arc which is a bit of a mouthful, so I'll stick to fire rainbow. While the full form, as mentioned before, is that of a vast circle of burning color, it is far more common to observe partial fragments instead. These optical wonders often seem to be painted directly onto cloud formations, granting them an ethereal, multi-hued appearance. They're really rather remarkable to see. Considering the sheer visual wonder that extreme examples of this phenomenon provide, it's not hard to see how the name fire rainbow seemed appropriate. They really do set the sky alight. Number four, bioluminescent waves. Here we go, from one light to another. This scene may appear to have been torn straight from the pages of high fantasy, but it's very real. These brilliant blue waves are the result of a vast array of small ocean-born creatures known as plankton. Certain species of these strange little organisms, known primarily as the prey of vast whales, give off a small but noteworthy degree of light relative to their size. 
and when they gather in significant numbers, that grouping can result in a light of remarkable clarity. Known as bioluminescence, this phenomenon occurs naturally in flora and fauna across the world, both on land and in the murky depths of the ocean. The evolutionary reasoning behind these developments varies from case to case, as does its effectiveness. But regardless of the reasoning, the results speak for themselves. Softly glowing waves beneath a starry night sky, an amazing curiosity. It's hard to imagine what this breathtaking moonlit vista might look like in person. Number 3. Snow Donuts Sometimes nature throws us a bit of a curveball. Volcanic lightning and glowing ocean waves are one thing, but when the world first became aware of snow donuts, there were those that assumed they were some elaborate joke. The idea of snow rolling down a hill gradually displacing more snow was, after all, nothing more than another cartoonish myth. If that sort of thing happened in real life, it wouldn't form a rather silly looking wheel of snow with a hole in the middle. It would lead to an avalanche. But no. As cartoonish as it may seem, the natural formation of snow donuts is a very real, albeit rare, and unlikely occurrence. These odd constructs are formed when a small bundle of snow rolls down a steep surface of fresh powder. Gradually, the rolling bundle gathers momentum and scoops up more snow in the process, growing thicker and more compacted on the outside until finally coming to rest when there's no place left to roll. During this process, the relatively uncompacted center gradually falls away, leaving the hole that gives snow donuts the rather unusual name and appearance. It's worth mentioning that these strange clusters are officially referred to as snow rollers, presumably because it's probably somewhat difficult to hear that several dozen snow donuts have formed overnight without cracking a little bit of a smile. And they probably wouldn't be too happy if I'd use the term baker's dozen either. Anyway, whether you call them snow donuts or snow rollers, it's hard to argue that they're one of the most impressive phenomenons in the world. They're certainly one of the more interesting ones, however, and that's earned these guys a spot on this list. Number 2. Sinkholes Sinkholes are large holes in the ground. Now, next, let's talk about... What? Oh, fine. If you really want me to keep going. I'm probably not being entirely fair. There have been quite a few cases of natural sinkholes forming, both on land and underwater, and the process is rather fascinating. There are often voids beneath the earth often found within the more rocky layers which appear following a disturbance, natural or otherwise. This can be anything from tectonic plate shifts, which are particularly common in Florida, in case you were wondering, to the simple circulation of groundwater. Basically, nature happens, and then holes appear in the ground afterwards. The end result of this slightly chaotic process is the formation of some truly stunning terrain. Certainly an entire street, not to mention the nearby structures, disappearing as they're swallowed whole by the earth itself is fairly cool, but some truly magnificent locations have been formed in this manner. Take the Great Blue Hole as a prime example. Named by the British diver and author Ned Middleton, who apparently had a thing for bad names, go figure, this massive underwater hole forms a part of the lighthouse reef. We'll give you three guesses on why they call it that, and the first two don't count. It's reportedly possible to see this great blue hole from space, with a telescope, probably, or a high-powered camera. Regardless, it's a fairly impressive specimen. Another example is the idyllic Iquil Cenote in Mexico, an ancient site sacred to the Mayan culture, apparently utilized as a powerful site for their myriad rituals. Mayan ruins can still be found nearby, the spot also boasts changing rooms on site and has its own gift shop. My, how the times have changed. Sinkholes are a fairly common occurrence that can be summed up as big holes in the ground. But despite that, they are certainly an interesting phenomenon by ancient formations caused by natural processes or the result of several decades of exhaustive shaft mining. With that being said, watch your step. It's a long way down. Number one, basalt columns. Occasionally, something happens that'll cause you to stop and ponder on how an event or action came to be. It can be as simple as an object or individual falling in an uncommon and amusing manner, or as large and magnificent as the basalt columns of the Giant's Causeway on the northernmost coast of Northern Ireland. These magnificent formations are the result of some fairly freaky volcanic activity. After an eruption that was theorized to have occurred somewhere between 50 to 60 million years ago, Variations in the cooling duration of the released lava resulted in these amazingly detailed rock patterns. 
Though the Giant's Causeway is one of the most well-known of these basalt formations, the effect is not limited to a specific region or climate. Examples can be found all over the world, from the ominous serenity of the Takichiyo Gorge as it winds its way through southern Japan, to the amazing, almost unreal Svartifas waterfall. Perhaps strangest of all is Fingal's Cave, Found on the southernmost edge of the small island of Staffa, just off the western coast of Scotland, this cavernous secret stretches far back into the island. Because of its unique nature, Fingal's Cave has similar acoustic properties to those of an ancient cathedral, echoing the endless laps and ebbs of the encroaching ocean. Irish mythology claims that both titanic structures are the remains of a series of stepping stones cast into the ocean between Scotland and Ireland, which a vast giant skipped across because he didn't want to get his feet wet. While it's almost certainly not true, you've certainly got to admire that sort of legendary swagger. Here's what's next. <laughs> 